I'm Leo Bierenberg. And I'm Zach Robinson. We are the composers of Cobra Kai. And we are gonna do the arcade kit challenge. We both get to kind of play our main instruments. Like I'm a guitar player, yeah. there's tons of shredding. You are a winds player, sax player, flute player. And you got your I got all the, all the pan flutes. Yeah, pan flute, yeah. It's, it's the perfect project for us, yeah. for sure. We always work together, but we're gonna be completely I blind, know. I know. go into our own zones and actually see who's better at music karate. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use Arcade today. Yes. And we're gonna pick a kit out of this sacred bowl. Based on this one sample of sounds, we will find out who has a better music brain. You know what? I think it's gonna be me, but I'm looking forward to hearing you try to do it. I am looking forward to laughing at your composition. Well, if you're as good at composing as you are at foosball, then I think it's gonna be a walk in the park for me. You ready to pick it? Yeah, I'm ready to pick it. All right, I'll do it. No, 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 don't do that one. Let's read it together. Follow the plan. No more than 30 minutes. Okay, Number that's one. it. Hard yeah. cut off, no matter where you are. Number two is no listening to each other. Absolutely, banished to the other room. Mostly because I know I'm gonna be self-conscious when you're listening, so I want you to get out. I just know you can't write under pressure like that. Whoa. Number okay. three, <laughs> oh. let's write a training montage. You're just giving me my you know lifeblood. Rule number four. Be badass. No mercy. There it is. Play. Okay. That can be good. Oh. I'm into that. We'll come back to that. Okay. My job is to kind of 80s-ify it. So let's see how we can do that. When you load it up, it gives you a little bit of a sample. Let's get it down. Probably just put a beat behind it. I'm not gonna focus too much on the production. I just like want to get a beat in. Okay, cool, so we got a snare. Let's just like build a beat real quick. as well. So I kind of like F minor, um, and what I can do is this feature here, the lock, keeps it so it'll keep it at F minor no matter what kit I load up. The humanist kind of gives it a more cinematic um, characteristic than what I kind of want for this. But for this type of thing, I want it, again, to have a little more of an 80s spirit. Um, and I think that it was it was just a bit too loose as is. So by shortening it, it gives a little bit more of a robotic percussion. Let's try it. It's sitting better for me. gonna put a little pad up in the front. That's a film scoring trick right there. I basically have got this right now. Look at my guitar sometimes. I just like to to chug over it, you know? to add a little more depth, I think. Why 
one of the last things I like to do is rip like a fat keyboard solo, a synth solo, or a guitar solo over what I've got. We'll see if that gets past the showrunners. I don't know if they're gonna approve that, but you know what? You gotta try. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. Like, let's show Leo. All right, let's rock. I'm going to load up an instance of Arcade. All right, got a nice kick drum. Oh, I'm digging that. I'm a big hand percussion guy. Fun with the repeater. Oh, that is tasty. Got a lot of knobs to play with. Let's see what they do. I'm gonna take everything down. Okay, that's just our kick. Ooh, focus adds a bit of a delay. This is where I want to use that focus knob, I think. Get some of this delay in there. I'm playing with the repeater right now because this seems like a good sound to do kind of like a breakdown type of thing this to a sort of four bar loop. I'm gonna do another instance of Arcade. I wanna play with some of the more tonal elements in this kit. Um, I just wanna find like a synth sound to give something with a little ethereal body to it. I am gonna make a little hole first and then I'm gonna play with the repeater and try to come up with a cool push. I want like a cinematic like percussion roll. Oh yeah. So this is pretty neat because you can just graphically draw any build you want. So I'm just gonna Let's hear what it just sounds like. So we've got our normal loop, and I've just drawn this kind of straight up. Let's find something with some meat. Great polysynth. Modular. A lot more mid-rain energy. Rage. Oh man. Any knob that's labeled rage, I'm immediately gonna turn up, and I was not disappointed. <laughs> that is a freaking awesome loop. All I did there, I took that loop and I used the uh, speed control in Arcade to make it half speed. Uh, and then I'm gonna duplicate this because I wanna use that awesome uh, sort of filtered mid-range percussion too. Oh yeah, that's pumping now. Let me bust out my trusty pan flute. Grab this guy. And I'm going to go back to the beginning and add that electric piano sound to there too. might be nothing left to do right now except like rip a crazy synth solo over the top of it. Yeah. 
I'll print it. The key to like a long training sequence like this is like you want to make sure your levels, your tiers are really clear. I am out of time here, so let's go see what, uh, you know, masterpiece Zach could come up with. Pretty excited to uh, tell him it's awful. So return the conquering heroes. How'd it go? Uh, flying colors, how'd it go for you? I'd say the same thing. Uh, I think you... I really pushed it to the limit. Really? Because I think you probably crumbled under pressure. Well, like you always do. All right. Well, Should we listen? Yeah. You want to go first? I'll go first. Let's listen and you can start your crying right now. Great. It's interesting. I also use some four on the floor kick. It's a training montage. It's really interesting how uh, we both have a similar structure in terms of just like the builds to it, like clearly. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Is that you ripping on, on uh, keyboard? It's on the profit. I suppose so. Let's hear All it. Right. Here's how it goes. Nice. <laughs> like we totally did the similar yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how many montages have we done at this point? A lot. Oh yeah. But there's a break here, this is where I use the Oh, work. I, I pulled up a different thing for that. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else would have just played that in the keyboard? Oh, yeah. That was pretty interesting because it kind of confirmed that we have very similar instincts when it comes to uh, writing music like this. You know, like we both reach for like a four on the floor once the like groove comes in and uh, there's like guitar in both of them. Like right. I assume you played that. Yeah. I obviously cannot, but. You could uh, if you believe in yourself, but yeah. Maybe, or just like practice yeah. once ever. <laughs> I think we're just meant to work together. Yeah, I think so too. So should we call it a draw? Let's call I'm it a draw. Not really into ties, but like. I guess we could call it a draw.